Over the years, Fortnite's had many different weapons, and like 17 clones of the pump, but they've all stayed relatively similar until now. This season's loot pool is mid at best, which kinda has me worried. And it all has to do with the new things they've added. I'm not talking about weapon attachments, though there is some conversation there. I'm talking about bullet drop off and the frenzy. You know what? Let's get started with that. The frenzy auto shotgun has to be the worst shotgun ever added to the game. And I'm not talking about worst as in the makeshift. I'm talking about insanely broken ruining the game. There should never be a season where the spray shotgun is better than the pump. That doesn't necessarily mean that the spray shotgun has to be bad. It just can't dominate the meta. Look at every chapter shotgun meta. Chapters 1 and 2 were the tack and the pump. People use the pump more. Chapter 3 had the striker pump and the auto. People use the striker. Chapter 4 for pump like shotguns had the havoc, the thunder, and the sharp tooth. And for spray, the maven. And if you ever use that gun, you'd know that everyone used these three. Now in chapter 5, it's the other way around. This current pump isn't bad. It's like a B tier shotgun. But when you put it up with a gun that can two shot in less than two seconds, it doesn't stand a chance. Why don't you just build, bro? Yeah, that works until they jump in your box and start spraying you down like a firing squad. Just did it out, bro. <laughs> <coughs> yeah, we ain't editing out of nowhere. The two massive issues with the gun is the fire rate and the damage. One on its own isn't bad, but when you put them together, I don't think this gun has been nerfed once this season. Maybe I'm wrong, though. Point still being, why has an epic nerfed this? Well, I think it's because they think they've nerfed it. What's one bad thing about the Frenzy? The reload time. My guess is that this is Epic's way of nerfing the Frenzy. I mean, I could go to McDonald's, order everything on the menu, eat it all, go back to my house, and I might catch the Frenzy finally reloading. However, that doesn't really do anything because you put eight rounds in the chamber. And again, it can two shot at blue. The fire rate of this gun is insane. With a blue Frenzy, eight bullets, and that insane fire rate, that's four kills in four seconds. I'm quitting. Well, that's half the video wasted on whining about this stupid shot. Shotgun, please nerf the fire rate. But sticking on the topic of shotguns, this shotgun meta is ass. Especially with blanking. This has been an on and off bug throughout Fortnite's lifetime, but it's made a pretty substantial comeback in this season. Blanking's where you shoot a guy and it doesn't do damage. Now I'm not talking about, oh dude, I totally hit that guy type shot. I'm talking about where they're directly in your crosshair, get shot, and walk it off like it was the wind. I'm not gonna spend any more time on this, but I hope it's something that's fixed in season two. To finish off the shotguns, we have the hammer pump, or as I like to call it the 30 gun. Body shot, 30. Headshot, 30. Got your muzzle pressed up to his chest? Yeah, that'll be 30 damage. Like I said before, it's an okay shotgun. Just when you put it up against actual good shotguns and put it in the same loophole as this thing, it's pretty mediocre. Now, bullet drop off. With the launch of chapter 5, Fortnite has completely revamped the way weapons work. Not in the form of attachments, but in bullet drop off. Bloom has been completely replaced by this and it kind of has me worried. Not only is it a lot harder to hit shots from range, Fortnite has made it a nice nightmare to use an AR at medium range without a scope. Fortnite might have one of the largest skill gaps in gaming, and this just makes it worse. Sure, now you can hit every shot if you're that good, but honestly, I was better without it. I'm kind of a demon with the scar. If I had that in OG Fortnite, you were done. But now, we might not even see the scar again. Along with this, Fortnite has also used bullet drop off to nerf guns, more specifically, the sniper. If this is a new way of nerfing guns instead of nerfing the fire rate or damage, I can't see myself lasting more than two chapters. But who knows? Fortnite has been listening to the community a lot recently, and if people don't like these changes, Changes, they could be reverted in the future. But maybe it's just me. You could like all these things, and I could just be a complainer. Speaking of that, that's all I've been doing for the past six videos, so the next one will not be complaining. That's it. Video's over. Bye-bye.